what's going on everyone hope you're good hope you're well it's been a while sorry i've been just a little bit busy just a little bit how's everyone doing let me know what your scent of the day is down below i appreciate it i appreciate you all for stopping by it means a lot and i appreciate especially all of the latest subscribers to get us over that 3k mark we are finally here fragrance decant boutique thank you for stopping by i appreciate it i appreciate you um yeah as everyone's gonna start rolling in let me know what your sense of the days are down below mine <laughs> so i've been wearing uh, one of my latest pickups, which is going to be right here. I'll talk about that in a second. Daniel, great to see you. What's going on, Daniel? How you been? And, uh, yeah, I got a lot of fragrance to discuss. I know I definitely want to release a top spring list. So that's probably going to come in. Captain, my captain. Great to see you. Hope you're having a great weekend. Yara, Kevin, I appreciate you all for stopping by. Means a lot. What about me? What about you? What about Bob? No, I'm good. I'm good. Just very, very busy these days. These days, I'm slammed. Um, <laughs> I'm very slammed. I've got events. If you haven't been watching my Instagram, I implore you to do so. You'll catch up on a lot of the... Although I'm still kind of pushing some of the shorts, but you get a little bit more contact, a little bit more content also through my Instagram. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll just break it out really quick right now. Sense of the day, latest acquisition. Shouts to Erica, Oda Erica, Via Cavour One. Yes, it is as good as she makes it out to be. Gorguts, yo, great to see you, bro. Hope you're good. Kyler, great to see you. But yes, Via Cavour 1 is as good as Erica makes it out to be. It is my son of the day. I recently picked it up at Oswald. Why? Number one, because it is that good. Number two, because I'm tired of, you know, being harassed by Erica for not having it in my collection. No, I'm joking. But... I got to support my home team. I'm with your perfumes. Of course, I'm going to add this eventually. So my Zhuzhov collection has grown quite a bit in the last 30 days. I mean, we're talking about Starlight, this, Hermetic. I've got a few minis down there, 15 mLs. I still have... Tony Iommi, Golden Dollar. What do I need next? Givenchy Gentleman, great, great, great release. That's a good release. So yeah, this is actually my most recent pickup because I just picked it up 48 hours ago. But also, um, just a really, really good fragrance. How many have tried Via Cavour 1? Let me know. It's fruity, a little like, I get like a suede leather tone to it, but this just fresh fruit, aromatic, a little bit of musk, kind of suede, this thing just, it works, really does. Quince, Quince really works well on my skin too, so all the more reason, but I need to check this out. A little sweet, almost like a caramel tone to it. Really good. Really, really good. I'm a. Uh, I'm guessing that y'all are maybe here for one of my other recent pickups. This one right here. Mighty strong. Great to see you. Number one perfume in the world. Shouts to Raph, my bro Raph, of course. 
he's referring to uh this although this too is the number one panty dropper in the world but this is the number one perfume for sure so shout outs to him shout outs to erica i'm very familiar with the scent because it's their favorite thus i finally bought it and uh shout outs to oswald for you know allowing having it for me to purchase you know great to see dustin and everyone there mighty strong great to see you but yes we are here to also discuss one of my other recent pickups how many people have tried this how many people own this how many people are gonna buy this yes please like this stream up because we are about to get into some attraction attraction fatale now i did do a live stream last week unboxing last friday when it came in if you haven't seen i've actually put a size there you go that's how you can see you can see it like it's about right there the bottle is right there so you're looking at about that much used already yes i wear this yes it smells amazing erica great to see you shout outs to erica oh to erica crushing it killing it and uh her collaboration which i will be explaining at the end of the video how anyone can enter the giveaway in the u.s us only but i will be doing a big giveaway announcement because the time has come for me to give away my bottle of apple brandy like i said when i hit 3k i was doing it i'm doing it daniel great to see you hope you're good hope you're well i appreciate you yes it's been a while but it's great to see you what's going on spence hope you're good hope you're well but yes the amazing Oda Erica got me to try Via Cavour One, bought it, and I was in a collaboration video with Cuba No and Red Lessons. If you don't know, on her channel, dropped two weeks ago, and I tried this fragrance on the scent strip, and it smelled so good that I knew I had to buy it. So later on that night, I went ahead. And I bought it because it had been on an early release. This is as good. Thank you, Mighty Strong. Sandro, great to see you, bro. Kyler, I'm not even paying attention to that comment because that's actually blasphemy. And you know that. Come on now. Shouts to uh, Spence. Yeah, I thought you had Via Cavour Spence. But yeah, Attraction Fatale is a bomb. It's a little bit spicy. On me, I'm getting a lot of spice though. A lot of spice, a little sweet. Some people get the other way around. I also get a little bit of a, like a woody tone to it. Some people are saying this is in tone with something like Spice Bomb Extreme. And I could see that. But on me, it's coming off much more aromatic, honestly. Aromatic, spicy. Woody, aromatic, spice, even. Hey, what's going on, Bo Douglas? Where's my moderators? That's a great question. Now that I finally hit 3K, I am looking to add some. So... I am keeping that in mind. And uh, the next live stream will have some moderators for sure. Oh, the cafe candle from Diptyque for 75. Yeah, I can't help you with that one anymore, Erica. Cannot help you with that one anymore. But, uh,
Yeah, I feel you, Kyler. I know you're busting my chops, but it's a good for. I don't know about it being overpriced, though. That's why, like, I had to do a double take really quick. I don't know about it being overpriced. I mean, overpriced is in the eyes of the spender, personally. Me, I think this is still a very fair price point, all things considered. Again, I mean, most designer fragrances are $200 now, Kyler. Uh, I feel curly fragrance cologne smells similar to Tom Ford Noir Extreme. I could, I could see that. I could see that. I can guarantee you attraction for Tao has nothing to do with spice. Oh, no, I just meant like a ray of spice on me. Um, kind of a semi slightly boozy tone. But in no means does this smell the same. That's not where I was going with it. I just meant in regards to some sort of tone, way, style. But again, on me even, Spice Bomb is much more spice sweetness. This I get some sweetness. I'm getting a lot of spice and wood off of me. Um, and only when it settles do I even get any of the booze at all. So... What's going on, HB? Great to see you. Thank you so much for the $5 super chat. The new designer trend is 180 for 60 ml. This is 100. So, and this is an X straight, which is another good thing. Bomb, nuclear. I mean, I spray a lot. So people are like, wow, you have sprayed a lot. But this fragrance right here. <laughs> is absolutely a nuke if and she even said it she said don't overspray this of course i didn't listen i'm i mean i'm her friend but i'm not gonna listen to i'm gonna spray it especially in this cold it it's a nuke so keep that in mind um it definitely smells expensive I'm reading some of the chat while I'm scrolling. Thank you, Jonathan, for stopping by. Best wishes on the 3K. Thank you. That's just YSL for 160. Ex exactly. Exactly my point. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is really in line with everything that is in the industry right now. This juice is too good for only one. Yeah. Smells very expensive. Chris, congrats. I Raf said it earlier. Congrats to Chris and Michelle. Chris Corbinell absolutely did his thing with this release. Master Perfumer. If you don't know who he is, you need to do yourselves a favor. But chances are you know who he is. But um I I love this fragrance. Can't wait to wear this fragrance out on a date and report back. It's gotten me attention and compliments like when I'm walking day-to-day -day situational things. But uh I'm waiting, I'm waiting for that date night. So um that's 180. All right, I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry, Spence. <laughs> but uh, Attraction Fatal is a boozy, musky, sweet amber woods perfume with the best quality and unique ambroxin. That's the other thing. There's heavy ambroxin. But it's done very well. But there is a good amount of ambroxin in there. If you put it in a Zherzhov bottle, no one would complain. Or if you really put it in just any bottle, I mean, we could you know, leave church off out of it. But I get what you're going with, Erica. It, and it's still on price with the point. Well, I, I definitely see where you're going now. But yeah, it's it's on price, on par with the price. It's, listen, okay? Everyone is going to have their feelings about it. I personally want to just say congratulations to Michelle and Chris. Y'all killed this. I love this release. There's no anything on my end in return in regards to regret or you know anything like that. 
So from that aspect, I will say that she absolutely did an amazing job. Her and Chris's collaboration. Absolutely. So oh, what's going on, Eric? Pizza, not fragrance, can solve all the problems in the world. Thank you for the 3K best wishes. Pizza absolutely can, especially if it's uh, with pineapple, chicken, and jalapenos, please. Okay? Thank you. Spray it twice and someone says I spray too much. It's a nuke, I'm telling you. Yeah, he does. Chris, Chris did a lot of Zhezhoffs. You can put attraction for towel in anything. Yeah, Killian too. Congrats to Miss Fresh also. Congrats to Mama Curly, the entire Curly family. I might even have to grow my hair back out so this way I could be the honorary member of the Curly family. I'm joking, but honestly, this is uh, this is really good, people. I see this matching up very well for the spring. Definitely the spring and the summer night. You could still pull this off with the summer night because of the aromatic tone to it. The special unboxing Chris made with the nuances Michelle wanted. Exactly. It's powerful. And that's my thing. As much as she talks about beast mode, beast mode, beast mode. I just wanted it to be beast mode and smell good. She did both. First release. Her brand. She started up. She funded. She did her thing. She partnered with Chris to make it happen. And they did. So, to kind of wrap this one up, because I do have one, two, three other fragrances to talk about, plus rules and regulations, and just anything else. If you like spicy, aromatic, woody, semi-boozy fragrances, if you like your fragrances to last a long time, if you genuinely have tastes that align with people like Michelle, Erica, myself, and a few others who actually ha have gotten the fragrance, if your tastes, you know, line up with that, then yes, get this. It's good. It's worth it. Again, you're going to spend that much on a designer in Macy's these days. <laughs> you might as well actually do it to support the content creator you've been watching for the last four years. So, it only took you 20 plus years to get 3K. Um, well, it only took me 20 plus years to hit 3K because, Kyler, I took a four-year hiatus. In my prime, I was doing the same equivalent number of views as people who are doing it now. Um, so, also... I don't make content for the views. I make content for my viewers. And that is why today I am here to celebrate those viewers who still stayed with me through those years. It's my appreciation. I don't care if I hit 4,000 subs or I hit 400,000 subs. I still appreciate everyone who is subbed to me the exact same way. And that never changed from 2013, and it's not changing 11 years later in 2024. I appreciate everyone. And thank you all. And thank you to Dan Amalek. Great dude. Great hair. Makes great drinks. Honestly. Man is just amazing. All right, so next I do have, I don't know. I'll, I'll do this one because it's the event that I went to most recently. I'm um, Decor from Liquid Imagineers. This is a great bottle. Um, This I had engraved, which you'll see as a trend of mine. All the events that I go to with the engraving 
I have the date and the location. I'm just going to start doing that. Very heavy cap. Um, this is a semi-sweet, very spicy. Exactly. Exactly, Lewis. I appreciate you too. Lewis, you've been a day one for me. Exactly, Raf. And I'm a testament to that. I may only have 3,000 subs, but I know people who have 1 million subs. It's all about the connections. And if you actually are, like, enjoying what you do. But, uh, yeah, no. This Liquid Imagineers, really, really awesome release. This is their latest release. This is like a passion fruit, kind of chocolate, very pink pepper, which pink pepper I'm starting to realize works very well on my skin. So this is sexy on me. There's like Akagali wood and almost this like sandalwood type of tone, a little bit of chocolate nuance in there. This almost gives me like a very spicy passe soir extract type of feel, like how I would wear one over the other. I would probably wear this a little bit more at night, knowing that BDK's Passe Soir. So I'd wear that one in the daytime, this one at night. That one uses quince, this one uses passion fruit and blood orange. Blood orange has been my favorite since uh, Paco Rabanne days. But yeah, this is the bottle. Again, ignore the engraving because that's not how it would come for you. Um, I attended the event. Y'all could check my YouTube shorts for that. It's going to come in this box right here. And uh, they're talking about potions and some other stuff going on right there. There's a whole like almost like export exposition monologue it's gonna give you a dust bag too with the uh, liquid imagineers and there's actually something else a card in there oh there it went i was like when is it gonna drop or is it stuck to the box i didn't know it's almost like a tarot card actually symbol of my life by saying i love you with all my heart wow this is deep <laughs> You invoke the organ whose beating causes our blood to circulate, pierced by the arrows of Eros or broken by Cupid's abandonment. I'm struck by love as if by lightning. My pulse marks the rhythm of your tender or bitter feelings, the transformation of your emotions. I'm stealing this, okay? Don't let nobody know. <laughs> that I went ahead and I got this off of this card. I am. I have somebody in mind that I wanted to send this to. Wow, this is good. Can one live without passion? That's the heart of the problem. I remain the center of your sentiments. Woo, bars. The source of life, precious as a ruby, is explosive as a bomb, bold as a spice. I am love, I'm their cure. My light is your inner heart. Exterlam Trilogy, which is the collection. And then it's also written, I'm assuming, in another language. Well, it's in a, another language. I think it's French or something. But, and then there's something else in here. There's like a whole bunch of stuff in here. Liquid of Matt. What's this book? Oh, just saying that, you know, the fragrance is flammable. Duh. So, that is your uh, unboxing for um, Decor Liquid Imagineers. I went to the event, like I said. Had some great food. Your favorite content creators were there. Um, some of your favorite content creators were there. Because some of them I wish were there. And they were not. You know who you are. Some of them are in this chat. I miss you. I wish you were there. 
But yeah, no. Great release. Amazing people. Amazing vibe. I was wearing all red. Really, really good stuff. I'm Decor. Thank you to uh, Kitessence for inviting me. And I guess with that, I'll lead into the next one. BDK's 312 St. Honor. Again, New York City. Thank you, Kitessence. NYC for inviting me. Yeah, you like that mighty strong? I appreciate you. Um, so this event took place 3-21-24. Like I said, I have the date. If they're going to have me engrave, I'm not going to just keep putting my name on everything. I'd rather, like, put the date on it, you know. This one. And Broxen, Iris, kind of light white floral. This is going to do really well for me, in my opinion. It could work in the spring. I'd rather wear something like this in the summer, personally. It has a little bit more depth then, especially with that Ambroxan tone. Um, powdery woody musk, basically, is what you're going to get from this. Light citrus up top, violet leaf. Really, really good. But this is Iris forward and gives me a much better version of Lo Papier vibes. Like, this is the version that I wanted Lo Papier to be, and I'm glad I never bought that bottle. Um, this is good though, unisex, but does lean a little bit more femme, but not like it's still in the middle, but it's a like a 55 45. Femme, you know, men do have to appreciate stuff like Iris Jasmine to uh, get in the mix of something like this. But garnered me attention, garnered me compliments. And again, there, I'm I used it. <laughs> I've worn it. It's not just for show. Great, great release. Awesome dinner. This was at a penthouse in New York, so. Great stuff. And the last one we are talking about. I'm not going to act like I know the name. Uh, Shandigar Express from Ex Nihilo is their latest release. Raph just said so. You love the new BDK. Or you love BDK 312. French Perfumery History Accords and a niche brand. Well done. Absolutely. Yes. No. This is going to do numbers. I thought about having this too in my spring list. I'm probably going to put this in my summer though. Maybe some of my like other spring offerings. But for the direction that I'm going with my spring list. Yeah. I might. Uh, it just won't make sense. And you'll see it once I release it. But uh, Shandigar Express, fruity leather, fruity, fresh leather, does lean a little bit more on that masculine side now. So 55, 45 masculine, starts off very fruity, but then goes into like this herbal leather, fruit, citrus forward leather situation. I enjoy it. And, uh. This was sent to me by Ex Nihilo, so thank you. I, uh, I'm i looking forward to really breaking this out more. I, I spent some time with some of these. That's why you haven't been getting as many reviews since my Milan trip. Because I either knew these were coming or I've been trying to test it. This one is sitting at about right there. This is a 100 ml bottle also. And this just looks amazing. The presentation, you know. No, no. Still got my blue talisman here. <laughs> yes, I am the one to start the hype on blue talisman. I know Chad Chosenko took it to another direction. But in regards to Fragcom, me... Rico from Fragged Out, Swagged Out, and Marcy, Marcella, Teresa, 
us three were the ones to start that blue talisman hype. Nobody else. We've been talking about it since before it got released and telling people to get on it before it sold out. <laughs> so, Blue Talisman, Shondagi Express, and my Sloan Ravers, too. But that's a whole nother thing. Y'all aren't ready for that. This, though, really, really nice. Gotta say. Very well done. No complaints there. Um, the only other things I did a video a live stream about it was that I got supers since Milan, thanks to Erica. Again, er Erica's awesome. Erica's family, honestly. Um, known her since day one. Wow, that is still <laughs> very, very strong. This one, Sweet Darkness, is not for the faint of heart, but I love it so much. That cannabis comes off so fresh with the leather and oud amber and like the sweetness. This is really good, but not for everyone. And for some reason, I'm always inclined to just spray more when I am wearing it. I don't get it, but uh, yeah, no. Supers, Sweet Darkness. And otherwise, yeah, no, I don't have anything else right now. I don't. Yeah, that's it in regards to what I've received since Milan. And it was sold out. Blue Talisman is a must-have, yes. um, It is starting to circulate a little bit back in stock, but more so in limited quantities. If you... Do you want to purchase a bottle? Contact me. I'll be able to put you in contact with certain reps. Let me know. And that's not like affiliation situations. I just so happen to know the reps. But uh, I'm going to probably have to call the rep because <laughs> I'm down to about 20 mils. And I might even go for 100 ml now. My giveaway... My giveaway, my giveaway. I've reached 3K. And so for that, I am going to say this. Two weeks, comment on this video telling me of the fragrances discussed, which one do you want to try the most? Or which brand are you looking forward to trying the most? Um, have you tried Via Cavour 1? Have you tried Om Decor, Chandigui Express, BDK's 312 St. Honor? I'll even throw in Blue Talisman. And of course, Michelle's release. Attraction for Top from Reisiger. Um, let me know what you're interested in trying, what you're interested in buying, what you are going to do when the fragrances get added to you collection. I don't know. I'm tired, um, <laughs> if you don't know. And I actually have a lot of stuff going on this week. But yes, two weeks. I'll say two weeks from today. Just so this way we're even 14 days. Leave a comment. U.S. only. Leave a comment. I will be doing a giveaway winner. That winner will be receiving my bottle. Well, not my bottle, but a bottle of Apple Brandy on the Rocks. Brand new from Killian. Okay? Thank you, Jared, for the $10. I appreciate you. Congrats. Yes, we are on to many milestones, Jared, for sure. Absolutely. Yo, I smell great to see you, bro. Hope you are good. Hope you are well. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just busy with these events and stuff. If you've been checking out any shorts of mine, then you know. Um, or reels, whichever platform. But it's been busy. But very grateful. 
And that's why I want to show my gratitude. Somebody's walking away with a bottle of apple brandy on the rocks. Could be you. Like the stream. There we go. Like the stream. Leave the comment. And you have to already be subscribed. U.S. only two weeks. And then I will pick a winner on the live stream. And let you all know. USA here. Thank you for the giveaway. Thank you for the subscription. Just going to need you to leave that in the comment section after this video is done. Not in this live chat, but the actual comment section. So that being said, I appreciate you all. It's WrestleMania Saturday, Sunday, Saturday and Sunday. So I'm going to tune into that. Gonna probably uh, take another shower. I was wearing Via Cavour. Maybe switch it up now. Maybe we're under Cure. And I'm probably still not saying that name right, but that's how it looks. Who knows? Who knows what I'm doing? I just know I'm here, gonna have a good time doing it. And up next, in regards to release or videos it's gonna be that spring list yeah yeah so thank you all who's tuned in i appreciate you all hope you all have the best saturday thank you for the subscribers continue to spread the awareness as i grow i do more giveaways it's that simple every milestone i do different things so, I will see you all. Stinky, great to see you. Congrats, Joey. Those sprays are too rich for my blood, but nice to know about them. Hey, that's my job. And actually, some, some of these I have bought. I bought this. Despite popular belief, I bought this. Full price. Okay. Bought a lot of my stuff. I bought this. And that really is. <laughs> this is not cheap. $350. So. I just appreciate you. And everyone else who tunes in. It means everything to me. And I'll continue. To. Introduce and bring you all different things. Different content. Just so this way you all get saved from some of these, you know, blind buys and don't get burned as much. Yeah, Via Cavour 1 is really nice. Really, really nice. Yeah, Daniel, I'm sorry. I'm working on an international giveaway, but so I have to just get myself up a little bit more. So that's why I need y'all to build the awareness towards my channel. I'm doing my part. And I'm just going to keep on trying, keep on pushing. So this way, eventually I will have another worldwide giveaway. All right? But I appreciate you. Via Cavour 1, for sure. Your perfumes, absolutely amazing. And thank you, Your Perfumes, for inviting me to the Jersey Off event. I talked about it in my last actual video. Taffy, you never come in late. You're always on time. It means everything. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, I did one back in December. I did that through my Instagram, though. This was always for a YouTube 3K subs. But, again, as I grow and I'm able to have the ability <laughs> to have it sent out, I will absolutely be doing... Uh, worldwide giveaways pretty soon it may just be worldwide giveaways so shout outs to everybody thank you all for watching remember rules are in the description also already leave a comment like the stream be from the u.s and subscribe i'll see you in the next video